have you ever stayed for hours wondering what to cook what to eat or what to buy on this video i'll be telling you about eating healthy on a low budget when you hear eating healthy what comes to your mind first when we talk about eating healthy some people think it's eating expensive or eating um the trending things but that's not what it is we had eating healthy is eating what is important or what is vital for your body what's vital for your growth and things that your body really need to work perfectly well just stick with me and i'll tell you what it means to eat healthy and how you get to eat healthy on a low budget hello everyone you're welcome to variety with laura i'm so excited to see you again if it's your first time seeing this pretty face you're welcome and if you've seen this face before you're welcome you must have noticed the difference in the camera my previous videos were blur and also i had to get a clearer camera for my video which i'm excited about but before we go down to business have you subscribed to my channel yet <laughs> please do subscribe like the video thank you give us a thumbs up please moving down to business right so eating healthy first thing you need to do is self-discipline honestly the trendy meals oh yeah i saw this online i saw this online my friend eats this that 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 and you go get it do you have such amounts to feed because you don't just see things and go for it what if it's more expensive what if it's beyond your budget what if you're going against your own pockets so i will be giving you tips on how to go about your feeding habit tip number one you have to eat the basics you have to eat the things that you need things like banana apples oranges onion carrots oats beans sweet potatoes spinach broccoli so on there are things that you could get a quite little rate of uh, an amount little amount and you could use it to combine a meal sorry guys i'm so dramatic pardon my hand movements but when i do that just know i am in for the game like i'm giving you the truth of the matter okay tip number two try cutting out expensive supplements things that are unnecessary that you don't really need in the meal you know that you the meal can actually do without especially if you know you're a chef like me mm -hmm. you don't really need all that much of ingredients or spices or supplements to make your food a wow factor number three buy your products in season for example currently we're in november period right and we all know that christmas season is really close and when it gets to such season things are really expensive so you go to the market before but then you need to get your food during when it's not in season when it's not expensive so you go for shopping and get as much as you can step number four eat fruits and vegetables because we all know about fruits and vegetables fruits and vegetables is really vital for the body honestly honestly we need to eat vegetables when you're cooking put enough vegetables once in a while you can just boil just vegetable and eat if you're cooking rice you eat vegetable with rice if you're cooking plantain you eat vegetable plantain whatever it is try to get vegetable in your meal sneak it in because some people don't like vegetable but it's actually good for you yep yep have you subscribed to my channel yet the next is shop smart buy the necessary things you need buy in bulk get a list you go to the market you buy if you're buying something don't just buy what you want for that day don't just buy what you need for that day and the next day buy in bulk if you have a freezer that's good perfect you put some there keep some in there save them so you use it another time get my point tip number six meal planning plan your meal it's good if you have plans for your meal it's it's training or stressful to get a timetable but it's really necessary honestly if you can't stick to the timetable then maybe you should plan beforehand what to eat so you wouldn't it will help you save your money so you wouldn't have to spend more if you followed the previous step i said buying things in bulk then you must have had things in your refrigerator or in your house or in your store so you already know what and what you have or what your kitchen is capable of <laughs> so you plan yourself plan your meal so when you just get up you know exactly where you're headed 
what you want to cook and what you want to make and you just make it and that's it for that day you are saving yourself raw cash nigga saving yourself babes <laughs> so the next tip that's tip number seven have a list have a list when you're going to the market get yourself a list write down everything you need please please i'm speaking out of experience i've been to the market sometimes and when you're passing you just see one thing that you like that is attracting you and you want to say okay i can squeeze in some change to get this no don't do that write your list and when you get to the market please follow that list until you're done buying everything on the list do not buy any other thing so you write a list writing the important things the necessary things you need write them down on a list and take that list to the market with pen so anyone you buy you tick anyone you buy you tick the sun is out yay now tip number eight tip number eight is cooking bulk my mom does that most times she just cook like three four soups and keep them in the freezer so when you wake up on monday you eat one soup tuesday you cook something else wednesday you eat the next soup thursday and you even save time energy money it saves a lot of things so you cook in bulk cook the various things you need if you have a very good refrigerator then perfect put it in there save it and you see you find yourself your life going easy easy <laughs> so the next tip that should be number nine i think number nine tip number nine is reduce eating out reduce the rate at which you eat out going out with friends eating here there buying this buying that actually you it doesn't seem like a lot is going out of your pocket but trust me it is and it just happened unconsciously because right at that moment what's on your head is the cravings what you want so you could do anything to literally get what you want forgetting that there are other things you have budgeted to do with your money so reduce the fact that you eat out and i would say eating out is more expensive than cooking at home because if you should buy all those ingredients you would still have change and after cooking and after eating you still have leftovers i mean you could sneak up in the night to eat that's actually bad <laughs> eating lady could get you fat but we will change we will change with time with time change <laughs> but when you buy your own stuff and cook your own stuff you get to have change you get to have more for yourself for later you get so reduce eating out because it's it makes you spend more tip number 10 is eat balanced meal we all know about the balanced diet we're taught about balanced diet in school so we all know the nutritional value of every food so when you're trying to cook a meal you try to reason how to mix all the nutrition in one even if not all but at least mix them you don't just eat pure carbohydrates always example of one really nice succulent meal is let's see boiled plantain with vegetable stew made with both tomatoes and various vegetables with fish now the plantain is iron you get vegetables tomato fruits and you get fish which is protein that's a good one or you get fried egg with vegetables inside carrots green beans and all and then you get eaten with plantain you get or with rice whatever it is but try to balance your food try to balance your meal have you subscribed yet please do subscribe like the video below subscribe and like my video thank you for sticking with me this long if you still have any other opinion or you have more ideas to share with us please comment on the comment section or if i missed out on something please tell me on the comment section i am open for learning too so that's it for today guys thank you for sticking this long with me like the video don't forget to hit the subscribe button below like the video tell your friends about it and i hope we do this again see ya